What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Yankee video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys and girls. I really do appreciate it. If you want to help out the channel, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. That definitely helps out the videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description below. Hopefully, you'll follow me. I will follow you back. And uh, hey, if you be so kind, share the video, share the channel, man. I know it's a long ways away, but we're trying to get to 100,000. It'd be pretty cool if we could get there. So anything that would help me out, be greatly appreciated. Let's talk about the New York Yankees, shall we? So the New York Yankees are actually 18-8 and eight in their last 26 games. They're a water-high mark of 10 games over 500. they They've actually chopped this first-place lead down all the way to 5.5. Now, the Yankees, I wouldn't say they're looking at first place Tampa Bay. It is nice to see Boston falling on hard times. We're actually only three losses behind the Red Sox, which if somebody would have told me that about a month ago, I would have said that's unfathomable the way the Red Sox have owned us, the way the Red Sox are playing, and the way we were playing. But that just goes to show you baseball is a marathon. It's not a sprint. The more important thing is the Yankees are only one and a half games out of the wild card, one loss back from the Oakland A's. And the New York Yankees uh, have played well recently here as a matter of fact last night on twitter it's funny i don't know the yankees so well when i was doing my live stream man i'm telling you saying glaber hit the ball to right field you're gonna you're gonna get an rbi that's exactly what he did he got an rbi last night on twitter i said britain let's get a double play sure enough the next pitch he gets a double play but the funny thing is the yankees actually have me a little bit confident and that scares me because again on twitter they went down three to two after trad green gave up the home run and i said on twitter the yankees are gonna win this game now, that's how much confidence I have in this team right now, that they are doing a much better job. And it seems that uh, the addition of Joey Gallo and Anthony Rizzo have injected some life into the team. Maybe not the offense so much, although last couple games against Baltimore, they definitely showed their stuff. Anthony Rizzo has been nothing short of amazing since getting here. He had an RBI in his first six games here. He had a home run in his first three games with the Yankees, and he's been nothing short of magnificent. Joey Gallo got off to a much rougher start, but Joey Gallo... You know, Yankee fans can't expect Joey Gallo to come in here, put on pinstripes, and become a 330 hitter. That's not what Joey Gallo is. He's a career 212 hitter. He strikes out a ton. He's a big guy. He's got massive holes in the swing. Yes, he's very quick for his size, and he's a very good outfielder. He's very athletic, which is very nice, but we can't expect a guy to come in here and start making contact. However, last night, he stepped the big hit, two doubles, and obviously the game-winning three-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning. So it's really good to see Rizzo... And uh, Gallo contributing to the New York Yankees. And in turn, I think this has also helped the offense. Giancarlo Stanton is actually starting to hit the ball a little bit, which is really nice because the Yankees could use Giancarlo Stanton. They could use Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge ain't really hitting the ball. I mean, his average is staying around, but he's getting like, you know, blue pits. He's getting one hit. He's like one for four, one for three. He hasn't really produced a lot. It also seems like DJ LeMayu is coming around. Now, I think that a lot of this has to do with that righty-lefty-righty situation. So although I am very critical of Brian Cashman, and I should be, as every Yankee fan should be critical of Brian Cashman, it does look like these moves actually help the New York Yankees. Uh, but again, how much will they help them? Let's not get carried away. They're 10 games over 500. And at this point, they're not even in the playoff uh, picture. Well, they're in the playoff picture, but they wouldn't be in the playoffs if the season ended today. Now, we have 54 more games to go, so obviously the season's still a ways away. It's a third of a way away. So this is obviously the dog days of summer. This is where you make your run, but it is nice to see the Yankees playing really good baseball. But like I said, the Yankees have fooled us before. They seem like they're getting ready to turn a corner. They seem like they're ready to make their move, and then the next thing you know, they take a few steps back. Now, I'm an emotional fan. I completely admit that. I have very high highs and very low lows when it comes to my team, man. It's easy to satisfy me. It's also easy to piss me off when you're the Yankees or the Giants. But I see this, not just with myself, I see this with fans in general. I go to the Yes Network on YouTube and I look at Aaron Boone's press conference. I don't know why I torture myself with listening to Aaron Boone. But it is funny how when they lose, you'll see the discrepancy of likes and dislikes. There's always more dislikes than likes. Obviously, after one loss, fans are pissed off. Then after they win a the game last night, I go there this morning, there's 175 likes and two dislikes. So obviously, people are just as passionate as me. But I'm not ready to say Aaron Boone's a good manager. I'm not even willing to say Aaron Boone's the reason they're winning. It's going to take a lot more to convince me Aaron Boone's any good. This team has been very mediocre for the last two seasons. 
And I'm not going to get all out of sorts because the Yankees have played well here in the last two weeks against very weak competition in teams like the Marlins and the Orioles. So I'm not going to sit here and start, you know, touting off about how great the New York Yankees are and how they're going to make a run at this and, and we're going to win the whole thing. No. What the Yankees have to do is take it one game at a time. They pass Seattle. Obviously, this is a massive series. They were able to win last night, which is very nice because it's a big four-game set. Seattle is right there with us. They're right there with us as far as um, everything goes. You know, um, with the wild card, they're pretty much the same record as we are. So, um, we got to win these games. We got to win this series. Even if we come out with a split, I'd be happy. But I would like to win, um, you know, three out of four. The Yankees have actually won seven of the last eight series. And Oakland's been playing really well as of late, too. And Tampa Bay has been playing really well. And Boston, like I said, is still three and a half ahead. And Boston ain't going to continue to slide the way they are. Uh, I hope they do, but I don't think they're going to. There's a reason their record is what it is two-thirds of the way through the season. So I do like the way the Yankees are playing. I am encouraged by what they're doing. I'm really encouraged by their starting pitching, which has kept them in every game. It's guys like, you know, Heal who steps up. It's guys like Nestor Cortez. Jamison Tyone's been nothing short of brilliant. Um, you know, the last five or six starts that he's been out there. I mean, one pitcher of the month in July. And, of course, Jordan Montgomery's just been the tough luck pitcher. I mean, he's pitched well. He's kept the Yankees in all these games. As a matter of fact, as weird as it is, the one pitcher that has not been good on a consistent basis in the last month when the Yankees have won 18 out of 26 is Garrett Cole, our ace, our $314 million arm. It's incredible how guys like Cortez and Montgomery and, and Tyone – have been the guys that have pitched really well. And Garrett Cole's been kind of mediocre to even bad. So if Garrett Cole can ever find this and this offense can continue to do what it has done, which is score some runs, get big hits. They have manufactured runs. You've seen the Yankees going first to third. We saw Gary Sanchez score from first on a double the other night. They've hit sack flies. They've been bunting the ball. They've been taking the ball to the opposite field. All year I have screamed about, let's do this, fundamental baseball, get them on, get them over, get them in, take the ball the other way. Your approach at the plate should always be up the middle into the opposite gap. And sure enough, when you see guys like Glaber Torres and you see like Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge, when these guys get in good grooves and even DJ LeMahieu, although he sprays the ball over the field, you're seeing them take the ball to the opposite field. You know, you're not going to see Rugi take the ball. Obviously, that dude's just a straight pull hitter, although his last couple of hits did go to shortstop. So, and Odor's also been a guy that's been able to bunt for base hits. The Yankees seem to be playing much better baseball as a team, which is something we didn't see earlier in the year. It seemed like they were a bunch of individuals. So, I do think the injection of life in Rizzo and Gallo coming to this team and evening out the lineup so it's not so right-handedly dominant, you can see the effects it's, it's keeping here. I like the way they're playing. I'm not about to sit here and do a cartwheel and say, hey, man, the Yankees have found it because they fooled me before. They're not going to fool me again. But I finally do think that they're going to move in the right direction. And this Yankee fan honestly believes they're going to make the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. Garrett Cole is going to have to find it because I think in a one-game playoff, I'll take my chances with Garrett Cole and the offense that the Yankees have now. So if you want to give Brian Cashman some credit, give him credit for uh, Anthony Rizzo. I think he's been fantastic. I'm not going to say give him credit for Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo is what he is, and I didn't think we needed Joey Gallo, but the left-handed bat certainly helps. Andrew Heaney obviously was less than impressive, giving up four home runs in his first start, but I'm not going to get a cashman for that because the Yankees just needed an arm, and with Domingo Herman going on the DL now, the Yankees needed a guy to pitch. I mean, that's really all that ended up being, so... You're not going to find a great pitcher at the trade deadline. It's not going to happen. The best pitcher that went was Jose Barrios. Yeah, many people think that the Toronto Blue Jays gave up way too much for him. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section about the New York Yankees. Do you think that they have turned the corner? Do you think this is the team we're going to see going forward? Or do you think that they revert back to the way they were here in June where they really couldn't get out of their own way? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm hoping they go the right way. I'll be live tonight for the uh, USA gold medal game in basketball at 10.15 Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you there. And if I don't, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll be live for Talking Giants tomorrow night as well. It's a bad diggity dizzle. I'm out. Peace.